Thanks, Adam. Well, mushers in the 27th annual Race to the Sky arrive at the first checkpoint near Elk Park outside of Butte last night after a bit of a detour. The news station's Jonathan Kershaw explains. Along the frozen lowland road near Elk Park, about 10 musher support teams eagerly waited for their dog teams to arrive, bringing a close to the first leg of the Race to the Sky. Well, this is amazing for him to be around other teams and around other mushers. Fresh snow had fallen in the area, meaning the dogs would be slower on the trail. So the support team settled in and waited. Then an hour and a half passed with no sign of the trail breakers. The trail breaker teams on snow machines should have been here at least an hour ago, but they have failed to appear. Are the dog teams lost? Are they following trail markers that are going in the wrong direction? Because the teams were That's out in the Montana like. wilderness, communication was sketchy at best. Yeah, right now what we got is we got mushers that we don't, they're, they're overdue. It sounds like, we don't know for sure, but it sounds like they're lost. But no one was about to panic. And there's a discussion about how to get them here and we're just sort of talking about the fact that this is still a race and even if they're lost that our job isn't to go find them as handlers it's for the mushers to get here and possibly maybe send snow machines to break a trail and find locate them and then that, that the mushers can continue here like the race is supposed to be after the sun set the trail breakers finally appeared followed shortly by the musher teams the last 25 miles of the journey somehow hadn't been marked, and the dogs ended up traveling an extra 20 miles in the wrong direction. There was no markers. So I was marked beautifully all the way up to the last 25 miles, and then um, there was one section actually where there wasn't even snowmobile tracks. Even after being about three and a half hours overdue, the excitement from the dogs, spectators, and mushers was still palpable. After loading the dogs and sleds, the racers left for Lincoln, hoping for better speed on the next leg. Just hopefully the rest of the trails mark better. <laughs> Reporting from Butte, I'm Jonathan Kershaw for Montana's news station. Race to the Sky is 350 miles in length and is a qualifying race for the world famous Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race in Alaska. Well, starting a college education can be a daunting task.